This is a Wilmer Fab ICP platform. It is used for holding an IBC container on top of it. It has a 10 gallon tank that the IBC will drain into. This particular tank has been plumbed to the suction side of the pump. So material will leave the 10 gallon tank, get drawn into the suction side of the pump and continue on to the sprayer. Now this is a very simple system. There are no pumps, there are no meters, so you have very little maintenance with this system at all. It's just using gravity for the material to get down to the tank. Uh, the first part of the tank is here. It has uh, gallonage markings on the side. We've also left a blank decal so you can custom calibrate it to make sure that this one matches what this tank is. Uh, there's a floating ball inside of this hose to help you see material. Plus this is also a natural color so you can see the material as it fills in through this tank. The material gets into the tank through this hose. It's stored in this position. You remove it from there and put it right onto your IBC. Now you're ready to transfer material. The material will flow from the IBC into the 10 gallon tank. This particular one we have set up to run on the suction side of the pump. So there's a valve down here that holds the material in this tank until you're ready to put it into the suction side of the stream. We have teed into the suction line running from the tank that goes into the, into the pump and off to the sprayer. If you wanted to, you could put on an inductor on the front side of here if you were on the pressure side of the pump. So then you could run this same system on the pressure side of the pump and still get material to flow into your sprayer. Now we're going to take material out of the IBC, put it into the ICP tank down here, and induct that into the sprayer. So we take this storage, this hose from storage location, we attach it to the IBC. There. This tank has calibration markings on it and a floating ball so you can tell how much material has gone into your tank. You merely open the valve on the IBC. You can watch this lower tank fill. And as it fills, and then you can watch the ball coming up so you know where your gallonage is. We're using water today, and that's why I'm not wearing protective clothing. But you can also see the level of the water in the tank, too. So we'll let this fill up until it gets to the amount of material that we want. We'll induct into the tank. We just simply close the valve and start pumping. So this is a typical shuttle that you would see today uh, where there's a 12 volt pump installed on top of it and an electric meter that's battery powered usually. Uh, that's going to be measuring the material going into your inductor tank. Um, so you have to plug this up to power and make sure that your pump's working, make sure your battery's good, and then you can pump it into your come back up to the shuttle. We found, yes, we do have power here, and we do have fresh batteries in the meter so that we can read the meter. We'll take this now and fill water into the inductor. See our fill rate here. We're at the one minute mark. We're about to five gallons. And we're at the ten gallon mark. And that was two minutes for the fill. Now we'll go ahead and induct this into the 
sprayer system. And we were about 12 seconds inducting into the sprayer. fill in 10 gallons and run it into the inductor. All you do is you disconnect from the storage location here, connect up to your tank, and you're ready to fill. We'll time this too so you can see how fast this one fills. seconds. Less than 10 seconds. We'll explain an optional feature that is also available with the ICP platform. That is that there's a rinse ball that's available to put into this 10 gallon tank. There's also a rinse ball that goes up into the IBC. So you can triple rinse both of these tanks. The valve is up here and the ball is in the top. When I start it up, I'll leave the valve shut on the bottom of the tank. So we can watch the water level come up in here to get an idea of the rinsing that's going on in there. This one I'll turn on. You can see that the water is pretty still right now. When we turn that on, you can see how the water becomes agitated from the cleaning action that's going on with the rotating ball. So I'll go ahead and start it up. I've also plumbed into the pressure pipe to the pump here. So that's what this valve is doing. It's open at the moment. We'll close it and we'll start the process.